Hello everyone, welcome back to Max TV. Today we're going to be feeding a second hard drive into the Mac Mini 2012. The Mac Mini 2012 usually fitted with one two and a half inch hard drive. There is a space however for the second one but it does not come with a connector so you do have to buy a kit. So this kit, just this part, is from eBay for about 14 Australian dollars, probably around 10 US dollars. And I'm going to be fitting, I've already got the solid state hard drive in there that runs the operating system. This is just an ex a storage hard drive, so it's 500 gig and that's plenty for me for what I'm going to be using for, but you can of course put a higher uh, volume hard drive in it. So that's the kit. Again, you don't have to have this part, the kit. You do have to have the connector though. Uh, that's what connects the hard drive to the motherboard itself. Let's open it up first. To open your Mac Mini, simply twist uh, the back cover counterclockwise until you hear the click and then flip it and the cover will fall off. Now what we have inside, we have your um, CPU fan, we have memory, Wi-Fi antenna. Those two screws are holding the, that whole plate and those two screws are holding the hard drive inside, the primary hard drive. So I'm going to be removing all four screws. The next step is we're going to actually, should have done it at first, remove the memory. Simply by pushing aside and the memory comes out just like that. Now we're going to unscrew the fan itself. There are three screws, one, two, three. Then we simply lift the fan up and out towards the Wi-Fi. And then using that little tool that they include, of course uh, I'm using, uh, usually I'd be using different types of tools, but uh, this is what is included and that's what you're gonna get. You simply carefully push it under the wires and push it up. Be careful with those connectors. So let me show you again. If this is the wire, let me get the white background somewhere. So you're gonna be pushing it like that, under the wires, and up. That's a good time also to clean the fan. If uh, your fan is dirty, you can go further and uh, open it up. There's one little screw here that you'll remove and then there's clips around that you can remove the top cover and clean it all inside. But however, my fan's already been cleaned when I installed the solid state. The next step is uh, we're going to remove the Wi-Fi antenna. So this one, you simply lift it up and out. So up and out like that and push it to your left. Now there is a little tab here that you can lift and that's where connector is so we're going to disconnect that by simply just pushing it up and off there. So let me show you that tab again. That's the connector, the white connector right there. Now there is next screw is this one here that removes the plastic uh, cover, that plastic cover here. And the plastic cover will twist out like that and out. So this is the motion you want to be doing. Now uh, we have another screw here that holds the motherboard in place. So let's remove that. And that's a long screw. So now there is another trick. If you don't have the kit like that, or if you're actually removing uh, the drive because you want to replace it, not extend it with a second one, uh, they include usually a tool that looks like a U-shape. You don't need to have that tool. If you have two small screwdrivers that would fit in those holes here, as you can see where I'm placing it, those two holes there. Let me get on the angle so you can see it better. Uh, you can just take two little screwdrivers, push them in, and then push them at the same time. In this case, it's easier to do with that so I'm going to insert it all the way down until it's firmly sitting there and then you push it towards yourself and as you can see the motherboard slides out. Now that's done again you can push two little screwdrivers and push them simultaneously towards yourself. The next step is disconnecting as you see that slot is for the second hard drive and that's for the primary so we're going to disconnect the primary by lifting it up carefully as you can see the drives already removed so uh, you don't have to go any further if you're not going to install the second drive you can just replace the old one by simply replugging into new drive so you can remove the motherboard further by disconnecting this wire here again put it under and up and that connector is connected and the second one is the power supply here 
it's facing away from me so I can't really see what I'm doing but I, I've done this many times before so I know that this just comes off that's done and now the whole motherboard is carefully slides out of the enclosure so that's your motherboard so I'm going to be taking the hard drive adding the cable to it now you want to bend it and there's a little sticky tab here so once you attach it remove the sticky tab bend it 90 degrees and attach it to your hard drive so the next step let's remove that whole caddy since we're adding the second drive so there's a one screw on the left here and one here which is already removed and forgot to put in the previous time and now we're going to remove the power supply to remove the power supply there is a little tab that you need to remove first so you see this little metal plate here you just pull it this way so i'll see if i can capture that simply pull it out like that then the power connector twists and that lets you pull the whole power supply out so that's if you ever need to replace the power supply now that's done and of course the next step is pretty much <laughs> we pulled apart the whole mac uh, we're going to get this part out which is the where the second drive sits and that's also your front uh, infrared receiver and the light now i'm going to install those little tabs that they include the little suspensions now that those are installed we're going to install the screws so the screws once you attach this uh, connector the little ones that don't have a head those ones they go into the opposite side of the uh, plug so let's put, let's put them in and again you don't need to screw them all the way in just enough so they stick out it's all right if they're loose because uh, this those rubbers that we just installed those grommets they push right against the aluminium body so the screws can't really unscrew so now install those part them into the grommets here and now using those big screws we attach the drive there's one so now that's the second drive installed in the caddy and reassembling the same way so we're going to insert that in once that's sitting there nicely and firmly reinstall the first screw now let's reinsert the power supply so it's simple you just insert it the right way obviously push it all the way down until it aligns it does take a bit of a wiggling until it aligns with the screw hole here so now that it's aligned let's put the second screw in now that's installed let's reinstall the power supply so again sideways you will see the grooves inside there you can just see those grooves here right oh, right there that's the groove here so insert it and twist it in place now that it's in place we're going to take that metal and reinsert it into the connector there so now this can't untwist anymore After we've done that, we're going to insert the motherboard back in very carefully. You don't want to damage it because you're going to have a pretty unhappy day if you do. You can assist it by pressing on the sides here and pushing it in. Don't push it all the way in just yet because otherwise it will be not as easy to connect the cable so now I'm going to reattach the power supply once the power supply is reattached we can now push the motherboard all the way in and tuck all the power cables away so the next step we're going to uh, attach the uh, cable that we removed from um, earlier for the front controller and light align it to the connector and push it down so that's in place now let's connect the second hard drive it's a good idea to bend the cable maybe like 
in S shaped, as you can see what I'm doing is slightly bending it backwards and just bend it all the way so it sits like that and it'll make things easier for you to connect. That's it. So the second cable is now connected. Now let's reinstall the primary drive. So we're going to take the drive and there are grooves. See those screws in originally in this one? If you look down into the Mac, you can see, let me try to, you can just see those holes right here. And the second one is right there. So our task is to put that drive in those holes. It's probably better if you put the Mac vertically like that. Now we're going to reconnect this um, primary drive in. So there we have it. Now we have two hard drives connected. Let's continue with reinstallation. We're going to take this flap, the plastic flap again. And we're going to reinsert it the same way as we removed it. So that's here. The next step, let's remove, replace the screw for the motherboard. Let's now reinstall the fan. Actually, we can reinstall the um, Wi-Fi module. So again, simply reconnect to that little white tab by pushing down. It's really hard to do on the camera, but I will try. So lift the tab up, align the connector, and press it down. So if I would be doing this off camera, I'd be above it, so it's easier for me to do, but um, I'll manage. There we go, so until you hear the click and you can push that tab down. Now let's reinsert this. So again, just push it down under the aluminum casing and until it comes into place and aligns. And as you can see, the holes for the hard drive underneath there aligning with those two holes. So that's the screw for the hard drive. Let's replace those screws. First I suggest uh, connect, doing the hard drive screws. Just slightly, don't press it. Start threading it until you feel that the screw is going in. Because if you press it, it you know, you might push the hard drive down and then it'll be harder to install. And let's screw it back in. Now let's install the fan the same way. So Simply with the fan, you can just position the connector onto the connector on the motherboard and press it down until it clicks in into place. And now carefully place that. So by the way, that large screw on the output of the fan, that stays in, that doesn't, you don't need to try to get it out. And just align that with a hole, drop it in and tighten it slightly. Now let's replace those two screws. Now let's reinstall the memory. And replace the top lead. So that's really easily done. You can see there's a white marker there and that aligns with the white marker over here. Push that in place and twist it clockwise until the white dot aligns with the black dot and the Mac is done. So that's it. That's the upgrade of the uh, hard drive um, in a Mac Mini 2012. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. See you next time. Bye.